Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to Ultimate Up Nord Dreadnoughts Quick Tutorials. In this one, we're talking about the best ship. Is there even such a thing? Because that's the question that I get asked, well, every now and then. What is the best ship? Could you build the best ship? Well, in my opinion, there is no best ship. It's like asking, what is the best tool? There is no really best tool, it depends entirely on your project. Let's say that you are playing a battle where you need to sink a lot of transports very quickly. What would be the best ship for that? Well, it could be a battleship, but a battleship is usually not very quick. If the convoy is too far away, then a battleship, let's say a big battleship, uh, would do a maximum of 36 knots, which is of course a hell of a lot faster than the transports. And sure enough, secondary and main armament could be quick. But if I were to have a battleship, and it would have a main tower and it would be set up for, let's say, generally fighting other battleships with 16-inch guns. That would not be ideal for sinking transports. It would, however, be ideal for dealing with enemy battleships. And in that case, the 16-inch guns would be able to blow big holes in both battleships and battlecruisers, but they would be slight overkill for enemy cruisers. Enemy light cruisers especially, well, Every 73 seconds takes a long time, and against destroyers, that'd be uh, pretty damn dreadful. What about a cruiser, then? A large cruiser. Does It, it sits somewhere in the middle against a super battleship and a destroyer. More or less. A super battleship goes to 109,000 tons. A destroyer can be as little as 2,000 tons. And, of course, all the way on the other side of the spectrum, depending on your age, you can still have torpedo boats, which are even smaller. Does that make the large cruiser the best jack of all trades? Um, it could be. Again, it depends entirely on what the job is. Especially in the campaign, I imagine that this is going to be important. Let's say that you want to raid that convoy. In that case, yes, a battle cruiser could be very efficient. Because, a, well, maybe not even a battle cruiser, but a large cruiser or a heavy cruiser. But then again, if that convoy happens to be escorted by just one battleship, then your whole plan falls apart. So, is there any kind of best ship? I would say not really. Not if you look just sheerly at the ship types. Therefore, what I would recommend is that you always start with what sort of, uh, what sort of encounter are you looking at? What sort of guns would be useful? What sort of weaponry do you need to uh, complete your mission? whether that is sinking transports or getting rid of battleships. Some ships can do everything, sure. But no real ship can do everything very well. Because then you go for the, the jack-of-all-trades, master-of-none situation. Let's say that I would go for a heavy cruiser, that I want to have uh, the ability to take on everything. In that case, I would build it something like this. It would be a cruiser with probably... 8-inch, 9-inch guns, something to that effect. And the plan is not so much to take on enemy battleships with the guns, but just to gun down enemy, well, cruisers and destroyers. Because this has a reload of 25.3 seconds, and that's without any upgrades. So I would have, let's say, a couple of guns like that. And this would deal with most of my problems. I could take on destroyers, I can take on light cruisers, I can take on transports. What I cannot do very well is take on smaller ships such as destroyers if they are very fast. So for that I would still build a couple of 5 inch secondaries. Uh, 4 inch secondaries on this ship can fit here. So with this I could take on most of the smaller threats. If I would encounter a battleship I would probably also want torpedo tubes on the ship to make sure that I can just keep those things at bay. But these torpedoes have a range of 14 too. At 14.2 kilometer range, that battleship can get eerily accurate. And yes, I could torpedo it. And yes, it could sink if it has few bulkheads. But is it going to be the best ship for that job? Not really. So what about another ship type? Could you build a battleship that does everything? Let's say that you have a battleship. Uh, you're allowed to go to, let's say, the maximum displacement you get. 109,000 tons. Um, is there a best way to defeat everything else? Again, it depends. 
if you're going up against another battleship of 109,000 tons, then maybe, maybe it would be ideal to have the 18-inch guns. But the moment that you sink the enemy, hyper, uh, let's say the enemy super heavy, and you get rid of it, then what? What if that ship is escorted by 10 destroyers? Good luck trying to hit those with this. Good luck trying to avoid all the torpedoes that the destroyers can throw your way. Because, sure enough, a battleship is a staying force. It's going to be there on the battlefield for a while. But what it does not do very well is get out of the way of enemy torpedoes. It simply won't do it. Because this ship, at 109,000 tons, and this is pre-upgrades, has almost 1,200 meters that it requires to turn. So, yes, it would take on enemy super heavy battleships, but it would get torpedoed. And you'd be sunk. Maybe not with the first salvo, maybe not with the, the, the second or the third salvo. But at some point you'll slow down, your engines will take damage, your ship will start to just become sluggish. You'll take battle damage, which is going to decrease your accuracy. And the destroyers, bit by bit, will take you apart. How about destroyers then? Are they not the best ships? Because let's say that I build a modern destroyer leader. And I have a, uh, a modern ship. I have everything. I have the best radars. I have the best sonar system to avoid enemy torpedoes that I accidentally run into. Um, I have secondaries. So I have a secondary tower. Um, I have dual 5-inch guns on it. And of course I'm going to need some funnels. And I can believe I could put 4... No, 3-inch guns in there. Yeah, you can put 3-inch guns in there. Um, this ship, especially if you add torpedo launchers, would be potent. Sure. It would have the capacity of dealing quite a lot of damage. It should be hard to hit as well. Especially if you put it all the way up to 55 knots. Although that is hard to work with. Because you're going to have to sacrifice a bit of everything. But a ship that does 50 knots is very difficult to catch. It's not impossible. But you'd have a pretty easy time just trying to avoid, well, most shell fire. Simply because you're so good at dodging. And the faster a ship is, the harder it is to hit. So I could gun down enemy destroyers. And I could try to torpedo everything that's bigger than I am. And does that make this the best ship? Well, maybe. But what happens if you encounter a light cruiser? What then? A light cruiser usually is equipped with a decent to good acoustic system, whether it's hydro or sonar. So that ship can pretty much charge down your destroyer, detect enemy torpedoes, so your torpedoes as they're approaching, and the moment that it spots those torpedoes, it just moves out of the way a bit, and it comes right back at you. So that, again, does not make this the best ship. In my opinion, there is no best ship. There's only a ship that is good to deal with a specific problem. Like most games, Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts has this sort of rock-paper-scissors system. Battleships are good against most large cruisers and against battle cruisers. They are not that good at dealing with light cruisers, and they are pretty bad at dealing with destroyers, depending on how the destroyer is played. If it's a destroyer that's just throwing torpedoes at you at 20 kilometers, good luck. But if the destroyer makes a mistake, like the AI does frequently, and just charges you down at about 8 kilometers, then those large secondary guns on the battleships can pretty easily kill even destroyers. What about battlecruisers then? Well, battlecruisers are great at dealing with large cruisers. L well, let's say heavy cruisers, light cruisers pretty decent as well depending on the armament and battle cruisers are fast enough to catch up to destroyers because a modern battle cruiser can do a total of 44 knots sure enough you'll have to sacrifice some armor and everything else but you'll be able to charge down destroyers so that would make you quite capable against destroyers as well because you'd simply be chasing them down and make sure they don't get a chance to reload those torpedoes but as you might know a battle cruiser can be pretty vulnerable to a battleship. Reference for the hood. Large cruisers, rock, paper, scissors model, not very good against battle cruisers. Decent to good against light cruisers. Um, actually, I'd say very good against light cruisers and good against destroyers. 
They have less displacement. They are generally more easy to turn. And depending on what speed and uh, auxiliary systems you have, you're going to have a pretty easy time to turn around. They are bad at dealing with battleships. I have seen them sink battleships, but they only are able to achieve that result with torpedoes. Light cruisers, excellent at dealing with destroyers. Very useful if you're trying to take down a lot of transports quickly. If you're trying to take down a heavy cruiser, good luck. The heavy cruiser is going to pretty easily put you down because you don't have the armor. A light cruiser is fast, generally. Can be packed with torpedoes, can be packed with, I think, a maximum of 7-inch guns. Yep. But aside from that, no armor. Sure enough, you could put a lot of armor on this thing, but 6-inch of belt armor is your top. And that is already going to impact your displacement quite a bit. And then again, the destroyers as the last. Good against other destroyers. Um, very good against battleships and I'd say battle cruisers, depending on how you play them. Stay at range, torpedo the enemy warships. Don't go for a gunfight. It just doesn't work. Avoid heavy cruisers and just avoid light cruisers like the plague because they will put you down. So to summarize, is there a best ship in this game? No, I would say there isn't. There is a best ship for every task, but keep in mind a rock, paper, scissors model is uh, in place. So try to have a blend of a fleet. Make sure you have a heavy battleship which can take care of other battleships and for example target other cruisers. Make sure you have a heavy cruiser which can take care of light cruisers and a destroyer which can take care of the battleships. And you don't have to target the enemy battleship with your own battleship. If you have a battleship and the enemy has a battleship and a light cruiser and a destroyer, then arguably you could try destroying the light cruiser first so that your destroyer can take care of their battleship. And again, you use the rock, paper, scissors model. All right, I hope this made sense. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comment section. And if you have a request for a specific tutorial or if you want to know more about the game, either post your request for the tutorial down below or have a look at the playlist linked down below in the description and at the end of this video. And, uh, well, good luck. Have fun playing Ultimate Admiral. It is going to keep you entertained for quite a while, or at least such is my hope.